Hello and welcome to another episode of The Elegant Life. My name is Erin Kurt and I am a spiritual teacher and a spiritual life coach who assists women in living and manifesting an exquisite life for themselves. Today we're going to be talking about how to discover self-worth, how to reunite with self-worth because we were all born with it, right? The whole topic of self-worth has to do with a deep belief that I'm not enough to justify my existence here on earth. I'm not enough to justify this wealth that I have. A lot of people have wealth that, that feel guilty for it. Or I'm not enough to justify being given wealth. I'm not enough to justify having the body that I want. I mean, we can go through it. We can, I'm not enough to attract the kind of partner that I really want. I want to show you how to move out of that. Now, one thing that Lord knows, <laughs> I know this one on a very personal, intimate level, is not feeling enough in terms of money or prestige or success and things like this. This comes where a lot of women, myself included, where I used to, used to be, was that we are constantly running a race of trying to achieve and it's all based on achievement and our self-worth depends on how much success we have. I remember saying to my husband at one point, look, when I'm making enough money, then I know that I'm having the impact that I want to have. Because if I'm making money, then I know that people are finding value in mine. So well, that's why I want to be successful. And I had it all backwards. I was doing everything that was totally against self-love, trying to become something more, something better than actually I already am. And what I should have been doing and what I did way after, way later, is to actually discover and fall in love with who I already am, who I was created as. You just do things because you feel you have to. You have to express this gift or this special thing about you, how you were created. You just have to. And when you do something because you just have to and you're not expecting a result, that is when you actually start allowing the universe to work its magic and bring you what you desire in a very elegant way. The pushing and the striving to achieve, to prove your worth, to show, to show your value to, to whoever, to the world, is the way that you constrict and and really make the universe's job difficult. Look, I'm talking about this in terms of finances, but this could be in anything. This could be attracting the partner. Even in your relationships, you know, you may have a fantastic partner, but you don't fully allow yourself to open up and be vulnerable with them. So you don't fully allow yourself to experience that relationship to the depth that you could. You see, this plays in every aspect of our lives. It even can go into the realm, I'm going to be really honest here, this can go into the realm of people pursuing spirituality. They, they read all the books, they go to all the courses, they travel to India, they practice this meditation and that meditation, and they're constantly, constantly trying to be the best spiritual person they can be. And even this is under this lack of self-worth because who are you trying to be? What are you trying to prove? That you are spiritual enough? That you are good enough? So the first thing I want you to do is to ask yourself this question, and it's really good to do this writing down. You can think about it, but when you write things down, you actually solidify it. You bring it from the energetic and you bring it into the physical reality. So you make it present. So that's a very important thing. So writing this down in a journal is even better. And I want you to ask this question. Ready? How am I enough? List bullet point times in your life, times right now, things about yourself that really show you are enough. 
For example, what is something that you really appreciate about yourself? Do you know you have a very open, loving, generous heart? Well, then you already are that. Huh. You already are that. Do you have a great sense of humor? Well, then you already are that. I want you to start appreciating yourself because you just get more of that, that sense of appreciation. So if you start looking at your life with appreciating things about yourself, then you get more of that appreciation and more of that appreciation and your brain starts looking for things to appreciate rather than to criticize. Finally, I'm going to give you a little trick that I taught privately, exclusively on my Elegant Society Live, but I want to offer this to you here as a loyal YouTube subscriber or blog subscriber. So this is called Water Quantum Jumping Technique. This is a truly powerful technique and here's how you do it. You need two glasses and one of them is has some water in it and the other is empty. Now on a post-it note or some kind of piece of paper, I want you to write a desire of yours, a dream of yours, you know. Um, my intention is that I attract the most ideal, perfect partner within the next year or something like this. My intention is that I earn this amount of money this year. My intention is that I get that promotion. My intention is that I find the perfect job that gives me this amount of money. I mean, you make it specific to you, okay? Then you paste it onto the glass that does not have any water in it. On this glass, you're gonna paste where you are now in your current reality, okay? So right now, I currently earn this much money. Right now, I am single. Right now, I weigh this. Whatever your current reality is. This is your current reality. This is the one you want. Now, what I want you to do is to pour this into your desired reality. I want you to read out loud your desired intention and then you drink this water. And I like to do something before I drink this water, actually. I like to say, I love you, Aaron. I love you, Aaron. I love you, Aaron. And I want you to visualize this whole thought, intention, energy going through your whole body right now. going into every cell, moving through your blood, and it just becoming you. And then after you're going to say, and so it is, and so it is. And this is a beautiful, beautiful ritual to clear the self-doubt, gunk, limiting beliefs out of you and to replace the water in you with this new empowered, self-worthy, self-love energy to it. This is such a powerful thing. I have seen profound results from this, but I don't want you to get attached to results. I want you to know that you've done it now and you release it. The universe will take care of the rest. It might guide you on something to do. It might guide you on something to to say to someone, someone to text, someone to call, someone to write, a program to research, uh, whatever, a domain, a domain name to see if it exists, if you can have it, a website to log on to and create a profile for, whatever that is, that will come to you. You have nothing more to do now other than create your bedtime ritual, put good, high vibe foods into your body. Spend your time retraining your brain that if any negative thought or any self-doubt comes, you retrain it and think, no, 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 how am I enough? Think of all the times when I have been enough. And then you, you just make that neural pathway that much more stronger. 
so that when a negative doubt comes in the future, if it does, <laughs> it just automatically goes, oh, but when that happens, I switch to a positive thought. I switch to a thought of knowingness that I am already enough. I hope this video and these tips really, really serve you. There is nothing more important than you realizing who and what you are, the love that you are, the amazing uniqueness that you were created to be. And once you get in touch with all these things, well, the world is your oyster. The world is your canvas to create your kind of life on. I mean that with all honesty and sincerity. I have been here and I'm here and I can tell you that it is absolutely possible. You have to do a little bit of the work to get there, but once you do, your automatic is just this and it just gets better and better and better. So that's my wish for you. Make it an elegant week and we will see you next time.